Ready for round one. Kane and able to uh, just for a moment spin him around and Shinori bends him right back around. Both these guys tight in this clinch. Looking for some wiggle room. Looks like you're trying to grab a guillotine and a knee on the break. Both these guys throw heavy shots. Big shot landed there by Pritchard. Nori looking to change levels. And uh, carrying his hands a little bit low. Knee, 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 knee. Good job by Schnorri. That forward pressure pushing Kanan up against the cage and doing a good job of uh, kneeing the legs while he's in that position. Heavy shots there. Last few seconds here of this round. One last knee to the body before they break. Here we go, round two. All right, Kanan versus Shinori. Shinori doing a great job of controlling Kanan up against the cage. Kanan should be looking to maintain some range here. We know Shinori, Shinori throws is, bombs. Shinori is punching in really, really well here. And then using the cage. Oh, this time, Kanan was able oh, to. Big right there, eaten by Kanan. Yeah, man, these guys are really throwing down. Shinori is landing really well and then getting good position on the cage. Kanan's being a little wild, tighten those punches up some. Shinori needs to just keep doing what he's doing. He's doing a good job of getting the underhook using head position, and Kanan needs to take a page out of his book and look at the underhook himself in his own head position. Looks like he is. I don't think he's going to pull guard there. Shinori now oh. with the takedown on Kanan. A little inside leg grab. Now he's in this uh, top position in uh, open half guard. Yeah, and, and, uh, Shinori is right where he wants to be, in between him and the cage. Uh, Kanan's going to have a hard time getting over that cage to get up. Oh, That's steps over into the full mount. Kanan, Kanan needs to really work to get him off, push those hips, use the cage. One of those moments. Shinori's not landing. No. And Kane is doing what he needs to do. Yeah. Pushing Fighting at like the hips. He's, like he's the third monkey on the on the boat. Noah's art to get on. <laughs> That's what you gotta do, man. You're that third yes. animal. You gotta fight like your your life's on the line. You cannot lay there and cover up. No, Chris, you know, Mignochi giving him the sign saying you gotta you gotta work, you gotta work, and he did just that. Got to a much better position. Here he can really use the cage to get up. Shinori's doing a great job though, keeping this pressure, peppering some punches. You know, Kanan keeps reaching over the head, whether it's standing or on the ground. He really needs to look for the underhook there instead of reaching over the head. Um, 
he's right there to get up. You know, he's free to get up right now because Shinori's not using his hips on him. Um, there he goes, gets up. Shinori can go straight for the reshot here. Smart though, keeps position, double under hooks, keeping the head position really, really well. He did a good job of kneeing the legs in the first round. Let's we'll see if he goes back to that yeah. from this position. Hunter's giving him great advice, calling for the underhook, telling him to turn. Nice knee to the body here. Shinori, they both look a little tired. Stiff jab. Stiff jab, looking for the uppercuts. Gotta be smart. Oh, throws him to the cage here, knees. Kanan gonna look Kanan for his own, got his hand down. together. Hands are clasped. All he needs to do, let him go. Shinori bucked that and broke his yeah, hands. great job with the hips. That's the, first, that's the last line of defense is your hips. You pop your hips really hard. Here it goes, Kanan going for the takedown again. Got the hips locked. Let's see if he can get it. And does. Does get it. Big Just. takedown at the end of the round. He needed that. He did. Uh, now, it's going to see how the judges score that because Shinori didn't, you know, Shinori got full mount in his takedown. He hit a bit, bunch of big shots. Yeah. Kanan hit a bunch of big shots standing up. For that round, it's kind of a toss-up for me. It could really go either way, but I would I would suspect with Shinori's um, top control, you know, he'd probably get that round, but it could really go either way. I think at this point in the fight, you've uh, likely experienced some tier of advantage in some place, whether it's the ground or the stand-up or the control, and you're going to have to execute that immediately. Looking here at the corner of Kanan Pritchard. Neither, now, neither fighter the worst for wear. No, nah, Shinori doesn't look tired. He's not no. tired at all. Coming out in that second round, they both looked a little tired, but. Let's go, buddy. Shinori could already have this fight in the bag. It could be his to lose, or it could be one to one right now. We really don't know. How did you score that second round, Ramsey? And with the, like you said, with a little bit more control and damage in that top control position, I give it to Shinori. Here we go. Third and final Kanan, round. Cannon did really good with the range last time. I think he needs to, to find that again, keep his range. He closes the distance with those punches and allows Shinori to grab him again. Shinori doing a great job at using the cage. Oh, and, and Kanan, like an Beast animal, move. right here on top. He's in a great position yeah. to start punching. Yes. Shinori does not want to do that. That would be giving up the choke right there. Kanan feeling the leverage right there and looking Yeah, through. yeah, he is doing a great job with the head position. He really wants to get his head on the other side of that arm. Uh, but he's right in his corner where he wants to be, so he can get a bunch of great advice from his corner man, Julian Williams and Mike Chagroy. Let's see what happens here. He's got a whole round ahead of him, so this is a very, very bad position for Shinori and a very, very minutes. good position for um, Kanan. Shinori is holding on for dear life. He needs the frame on his head and push away to get that head free. Oh, and now his head is out, and he's pushing himself away from the cage. He's not wanting to do that. Shinori trying to use the cage. But Kanan using that left hand should really be using that hand for an underhook, not, not so much for a punching hand. You know, it's, it, I love watching these amateur fights, man, because I can sit here and say, man, just one little detail and they could finish the fight. But that's what this is about. This is about learning about those details and understanding so that they can grow and, and learn from it in the future. I mean, a neon belly here, oh, this is, this is going to be bad. Shinori's head is right up against the cage. If Kanan can maintain his top position and start throwing some punches, very, very bad position. Squeeze those knees and really, really punish Shinori here. But he's, he's kind of just, he's, he's chilling. I think he might be a little tired. Definitely, big shots. Shouldn't use either hand to punch. He should be just be punching. No hand to hold, use both hands to punch. Shinori doing what he needs to do and grabbing him, but Shinori should be pushing those hips and using his feet on the cage to get it out of this position. He's got 45 seconds left. I do feel like this could be the fight for Kanan. Um, you know, this could be his fight right here as long as he he's got 40 seconds. He's got to go. Yeah. He needs to do what uh, Church did at the end of his fight and just sit up and start don't dropping hammer fist. Yeah, one after another. Don't use don't use any hands to hold. I don't know why he, he needs to be one after the other using both hands 
hammer fist, and there he goes, just like Church did earlier. He saw success right there. He saw success. Shenori did yeah. a great job at bumping his hips, but I think it worried Kanan. Yeah. Like I said, this is really it for him. This this can be the fight. This can be a Kanan over here growling at his opponent with seven seconds left. Can he make a flurry here? I think they were both exhausted, to be honest with you. Definitely. That fight can go either way, in my opinion. That final round, totally top Kanan. position for so long, it could be a draw even. Yeah. It could be two two rounds to Sh Shinori and the in round 10 eight Kanan. Yeah. Top position, full mount, raining down punches. That was that third round was a great round for Kanan. Probably the best round for either guy in the whole fight was that one right there. For sure. Um, but it'll go to the judges' scorecard. We'll see how they have it. Traditionally speaking, I would say I think Shinori's probably going to get the decision here. Um, but, you know, I think Kanan learned a lot and grew during that moment in the cage. So I'm excited to see what the final decision is going to be. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this fight has gone the distance. And our judges have reached a decision. Here is your winner by majority decision fighting tonight. Out of the red corner, Shinori Walker. And uh, Shamali called that one. Majority decision for Shinori Walker.